All right, so in this video, we're gonna take this throttle booster, wind booster, and we're gonna install this on this BMW. And this part, we're gonna plug back in to the pedal, right, like this. And we're gonna see how much faster it's really gonna go. Jeez. Is this gonna make me go faster? We go to race mode. And I look at the difference between economy. Oh, okay. Doesn't do anything. So this helps you save fuel by flying the throttle much slower, much lighter. Even though your foot's doing the same thing, the car kind of delays it. You will get increased horsepower. No. It almost feels like a turbo. Am I gonna feel like I'm driving faster? Yes. Slow mode, race mode, and smart mode. Eco mode, normal mode again. This is a new little toy that we hook up directly into our vehicle, which will improve our acceleration. All right, so this is a gesture identification intelligent driving controller. And you can see your hand to change the mode here. You can say a normal mode, slow mode, race mode and smart mode eco mode this is a newer version and then you can control it with your smartphone you can set it at optimum level performance level and it sort of just essentially opens up the throttle with this um, harness here that you plug in directly into yours anyways let's head on over to rev motors and get this puppy installed we're gonna go to a complete stop and I'm gonna basically do the before and then after the installation. So here we are and we're gonna step on it. There's a little bit of a leg before it actually transitions to the next gear. We're gonna see if this is eliminated with the wind booster. Jeez. Oh my god. Wow, it almost feels like a turbo. This wind booster comes with the clip and the harness, so it's plug and play, but I wanna get the mechanic to do it because I have some other questions regarding fuel consumption and other things like that. So let's get inside this shop. There's a lot of wrong mechanics. Gotta be patient with those ones and try to make them right. You fix the problem, you don't replace it. I fix cars, don't change it. sent you two units they're the same product they're both plug-in this one's got an antenna see Bluetooth so you can connect it to your phone iOS and Android and instead of using this to switch modes you could use your phone to switch modes so you could hide this and nobody will ever know the other one IR 401 this one you switch it through here so you connect this to your pedal and this to your connector of the pedal so bypasses All right, so we're gonna be installing this wind booster wired IR401 throttle controller into this BMW. So the question everybody wants to know, is this gonna make me go faster? No. There is a claim that says you will get increased horsepower. No. Okay. Am I gonna feel like I'm driving faster? Yes. All right, so the acceleration boost is definitely gonna be there. How much more fuel will you waste if you go on sport mode? Quite a bit more because then it's harder to drive. It's gonna feel like you're always flooring the car. It depends how you drive. If you adjust your foot to move like this, you could do. You could drive the same way you always did. But if you don't adjust your foot habits, it'll probably waste about 30% more fuel. Mr. Rev Motors, what is this going to be doing? It's gonna fool your pedal into thinking that you're applying it more. So when you hit it 50%, it's gonna say, hey, I just got hit 75% with throttle, so I'll open it up 75%. So it's just gonna feel like the car's faster. But with, it is gonna with, go with faster. With less input. 
But it is gonna move faster, so right? So all we gotta do, you see here, is a little cover on here. And if this car was any cleaner, this pops out nice and easily. What tool are you using? This is just a pick, like a dentist pick. There, that came out. Now over here, you have an Allen head. Right in there, and I hope it comes out because it's very rusty. Clearly, this guy does not take care of his car. This sound looks very rusty. Now, what you do, pull down on this pedal or up, wiggle it around. Now, on the other side of here, there's a connector that you gotta feel out and disconnect. You're using a pick right now? Yeah, I'm trying to push it out because it's very stuck in there. There we go. So what you do is squeeze two tabs on either side and pull this out. And then you reach into your handy dandy pocket, you find the wind booster. So this is the exact same connector that comes out of your car. So we're gonna plug this side into the car part, like so. There we go, that's clipped in. It can no longer fall out. Now this part, we're gonna plug back in to the pedal which is right like this. Now, before we put everything together, put the car on and make sure this works. To start the car, you gotta hit the brake. Start it. Now, we are live. And it should be for mode. Economy mode. There's 10 different ones. Normal mode. Sport mode. Race mode. And auto. So this probably auto adjusts. So we go economy mode. So you see the first bit doesn't do much. So it helps to save gas. Now if we go to race mode. Now look at the difference between economy. It doesn't do anything. This helps you save fuel by flying the throttle much slower, much lighter. Even though your foot's doing the same thing, the car kind of delays it. Okay. So if you have a heavy foot, you'd save it. Yeah. Okay. Now, we just put the pedal back in where it's supposed to be. With the little module stuck in the back. Put the screw back in. Bolt it up. Tuck this wire somewhere neatly. Now you want to go racing, you go bam, ready to race, and close this, and nobody knows you're using a booster, you're going to be winning all the races. Alright, so we just left Rev Motors, and we're on race mode right now, and we're going to go and see the difference of before and after. Jeez, oh my god. Wow, it almost feels like a turbo. Let me just try this again here. Okay, so. All right, so definite improvement versus what it was before. I'm on race mode. Let me set it on economy now because we're all about saving money, right? So we're gonna switch this to econ. Yeah, massive difference. So this is very leisure, casual driving right now. I am pressing my foot all the way down and it doesn't even allow me to accelerate as fast as it did even by default. Okay, so I've been driving right now with the wind booster for maybe 15 minutes and here's 
the easiest way that I can explain what wind booster does if you don't understand the whole throttle part. So imagine that I'm driving right now on economy. I have my pedal pressed at a certain point, whereas I am not going any faster or slower. If I click the button from economy to normal, the car picks up speed on its own without me even pressing down on the pedal. If I press it from normal to sport, it's gonna speed up even more without me pressing on the pedal. And finally, if I press again on the race, it's gonna go even faster. So what's happening is it's tricking the pedal into thinking that it's pressed a little lower than it really is. So that is what essentially the wind booster does. It doesn't increase your performance technically, at least according to Martin at Rev Motors, which is the mechanic that installed this, because it's allowing more of the throttle to open, tricking the car into thinking that you're really already here when in fact you're really here. So that is the simplest way of explaining what it is. So if you are on race, mode it is actually very jerky when you're driving because it's almost like you're racing the whole time it wants to go the car wants to move but if I switch it to economy mode or normal mode the car lets go and it relaxes so it's really depending on your driving style I was looking at the description if you guys want to see what this is they make it for every single model of your car but you got to request the correct uh, harness to go along with your booster and they do make two version one Bluetooth one wired version. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you win the races. Wow, what big dog. <laughs> He's gonna rip off that leg from the customer's car. <laughs>